And uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a uh, interactive PowerPoint using PowerPoint. So if you want to uh, create a presentation that is a little more, you know, interactive and a little more fun, you can do that. If you're, for example, if you're going to present it yourself and there's no need for that, but if you're sending it to somebody else, you know, it can be very useful. So for example, I'm going to title the first slide menu. Here I'm going to type, um, I'm going to type why, how, where, and facts. Then I'm going to create five new slides. The first one is going to be why, how, where, and facts. How, where, and facts. So the why it's because of this, 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 and reason one, reason two. So as you can see, we just have a random slide. But let's say we want it so that when the person clicks on this, they go to that specific slide. So I'm just gonna select this, right click, go to hyperlink, and then you can link to a web page, a document, or an email address. So, if you wanted to um, select and, and send it to uh, another slide, you can go to Y. You click on Locate, and then Y, and then OK. And then when you click OK, now we're going to go ahead and look at this uh, presentation. Uh, let me just go to slideshow uh, sorry slideshow from current slide so here we are in the menu and uh, what I can easily do is just sorry uh, click on move my mouse click on Y and it should direct me to this slide now uh, how this 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 so if I add more information here, for example, I, I can add a table, you know, blah, 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 a bunch of information, and extra facts like 90, 99% of people, blah, blah, or blah, blah, that works too. And so now what I can do is just link all of them accordingly. So I go to how, and I link it to how. I go to where, hyperlink it to where, and then finally facts, and we can hyperlink it to facts. Now everything works great so far, but there is one slight problem, is that when, when you're looking at this uh, presentation, what ends up happening is if you click one, you go there, but then if you want to go back to the menu, you have to go all the way back. So what you can do is you go to one of these pages and we're going to go ahead and this time we're going to insert a shape and we're going to do action buttons and a home button. And as you can see they already have a bunch of presets here making it very easy. And when you make this it automatically gives you a chance to hyperlink it to someone. to. Um, uh, another slide. So I'm going to go ahead <coughs> and click last slide viewed. So I'm going to go that and I'm going to go OK. So now if we go to this, whenever I click this and then I click the home button, it goes back to the menu. What I can then do is click on this, go command C, and when I go to the next slide, I just push Command V, it'll be in the same exact place. Then I add it to all of the slides. So, also, as you can see, there are more options for buttons. There, there's not just those. So if you go to Shape, Action Buttons, they have a bunch of different options for you to open a file, for you to go back, blah, blah, blah. But 
for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and open something else. This, I'm going to go ahead and run program, and I'm going to select from applications. Um, let's see, I'm going to select calendar. And I click OK. So now, when I go look at this slideshow, if I go back to the beginning, I go to the menu, I can go to how, where, we should have a, a table here, fact, everything works correctly, you know. But now, if I go to the next slide, the last one, and I click this, it's going to ask you first if that's okay, then you click run, and it should, as you can see right here, it's opening calendar. So that's how you can add a little bit of interactivity to your uh, PowerPoint presentations and not make them as boring and very intuitive for the person who is looking at them. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.